Hi, I'm Marco with our washers at washmart.com. We've done something special that we don't have any videos on, and I wanted to show some other things that we do here at our store here in Kima, Texas. Uh, we installed a recovery unit on someone's existing trailer that already has two power washers on it. And essentially, this is a gas powered vacuum system. We have two different drums that vacuum into two separate vacuum surface cleaners and then once it picks up the water one surface cleaner goes to this filtration system and then the other surface cleaner goes into this filtration system this is going to be the Sirocco filtration system the OWS series we've also used the uh, Sirocco surface cleaner vacuums and what I like about these is that they have three different vacuum ports and it's, some of the surface cleaners I've seen has the vacuum on the back and you'll have residual water running out from the front, but they evenly distribute the vacuum so that it's vacuuming from all sides. It was very well thought out. Uh, this is a, our vacuum surface cleaner of choice. This will work on anything from between five and eight gallons a minute. I have heard that people with 10 gallon a minute hot water units can also use this, but that has not been verified, but I do know these work well with an eight and a five. What we have also is once it goes through filtration, this was something that was actually requested by the customer that I wanted to point out. One thing that they've had issues with is water standing in the filters and developing mold uh, whenever they haven't had to use the filtration over a period of a week or two. So what we have is we basically flipped this over to where you can unlatch this and whenever you have water built up, the water is going to drain out. then you just banjo it back together. Goes into this water tank and then the water has been recycled and can be reused. And I'm going to go ahead and show you a demonstration on how this is done on the surface cleaners. Stay tuned.
Well, this is uh, the transfer uh, pump power switch. And basically the function is to set the uh, internal pumps inside the uh, uh, um, receivers or uh, uh, drums where once the water reaches a certain level, it activates the sump pump, and the sump pump in turn, it's a 12-volt pump, forces water through the filtration system back into the tank. Uh, there is a float switch that senses when the water reaches a certain level, then it, uh, it starts the uh, submersible pump in order to do that. Once it reaches the bottom, uh, the switch cuts off to allow more water to build up, so uh, it'll cycle as necessary in order to dispose of the water. There is also a safety feature because uh, in a prior, uh, prior run, I forgot to turn the switch on, meaning the pumps were disabled. And as the water level passed a dangerous level because you do not want the water to hit the roots blower because that could be catastrophic. So there is protection, there is a switch that if the water level exceeds a certain uh, preset value, then it'll cut off the engine. The engine will stall. That prevents uh, the vacuum system from operating, protecting the pump. So basically, if you encounter that situation, all you have to do is drain the tanks for any residual water, or turn on the switch that you had forgotten to turn on initially, and that will activate the pumps, drop the level to a safe point, and then you'll be able to fire the engine back up.